Hey Royals fans, Eric Jesperger here with the Lions Roar. Today the Royals get set to host the New Finland Growlers back in North Division play. A 3 o'clock puck drop this afternoon at Santander Arena. Tonight is eSports night as well as Salute to Essential Workers Sunday presented by Visions Federal Credit Union today to the grocery and pharmacy workers. Here on eSports night, the gaming tournaments happening around is also dollar nachos, hot dogs and popcorn around the concourse to make sure to pick up your snack before puck drop today. If you like the jerseys you saw on the ice in the Iron Man specialty jerseys on Marvel Superhero Night, make sure to get in your bid for the auction that ends tonight, Sunday at 9 o'clock. For more information on how to get your bid in today, check out the Reading Royals social media platforms on Twitter and Instagram to make sure to get your hands on one of those Iron Man specialty jerseys. Let's set it down to our interview room where I got a chance to catch up with head coach Kirk McDonald to preview today's game. Coach, today you're back at home looking to square off against the Newfoundland Growlers for the first time since the series sweep up in Newfoundland. Any different approach to playing the Growlers at home given that they have a much healthier and different looking roster coming into today? Yeah, I don't think the approach is any different. I think we know that they're obviously a deeper lineup uh, today and uh, you know, I think it's a good challenge for us. They've been rolling since they got their guys back. Uh, I think they've well, they played Maine five in a row and then had Adirondack last night. So uh, we, we know what to expect. I think <laughs> they know what to expect from us. And it's going to be a battle, and, and it always is when we play these guys, and we're, we're, we're excited for the challenge. And speaking of some of the success, as of late, four power play goals in your past two games, where do you attribute that success to on the man advantage? Yeah, you know, we moved it around pretty well. And, um, just, you know, I think when we're assertive and we're quick with pucks, you know, we got a little stagnant in the second half of the that second half of the second and third uh, third and fourth power plays last night, I think, uh, whatever we were, one for five. Uh, just we weren't moving our feet and we get stationary. And then all of a sudden we get nothing happens. But when we're moving, you know, like we were earlier in the game, you, we're much more assertive. Pucks get to the net and then all of a sudden – you know, we create some havoc there and you end up scoring where we, I think we got away from it a little bit in the last part of the game last night. Today you're battling with the Growlers for first place in the North Division and at home after last night's loss, just three regulation losses at Santander Arena. You have one more at home today before five straight on the road. What's the importance to you as well as the boys to today's game before hitting the road? Yeah, obviously it's huge. Uh, you know, again, like playing Newfoundland's a big game for us, four-point game within the division for first place. And not only that, like I think, you know, we were okay last night. Like we played hard, guys worked hard, but I just think we were lacking some detail in our game, which, uh, you know, caused us to, you know, give up some leads at some point where just attention to detail, um, you know, mental lapses or what have you, you know, from being off for a week, uh, you know, caused us to, to lose the game really. And, uh, um, you know, I think it's a good opportunity to get back at it. Obviously, it's a challenge. This week's going to be a, a grind for the guys, and um, we need to get two points here to put ourselves in a good po uh, position for the last five. Great. Thank you, Coach. Join me in the stands when the doors open today at 2 o'clock for this afternoon's 3 o'clock puck drop between the Royals and the Growlers. As we approach the month of March, keep your calendars circled for the date March 5th on Reading Premium Night presented by Sly Fox Tap House as it is going to be a couple giveaways on Reading Premium Night here at Santander Arena, a Frank DeChera bobblehead giveaway presented by Savage Auto Group, as well as Dive Blue Dental's presentation of a coaster giveaway among dollar draft beers of Reading Premium around the concourse March 5th, that premium night here at Santander Arena. For the Royals, they get set up. 3 o'clock puck drop against the Growlers this afternoon. For the Lions Roar, I'm Eric Jesperger. Enjoy the game and go Royals.